You know what, Alex? I actually recently did this. I forgot to put it on my order, and they were able to go back in and give me the discount. So oh, it nice. works. It, it does work sometimes. That's nice to get that extra little discount after the fact. So yes. that's good. We're starting out this morning with uh, really cold weather, so you're, you're looking for silver linings like that in your morning. Temperatures sitting in the 20s and 30s, everybody below freezing to start the day today. We are dry and clear, high pressure in place. Note the high is moving off to our east. So as that happens and this high continues to slide off to the east, we'll get winds out of the south uh, instead of out of the north as we head into this afternoon. We start to usher in some warmer weather as we head into this afternoon and through the next, say, 48, 72 hours. We're starting out cold and dry, though. It's a live view from Gadsden at Riverview Medical Center where we're below freezing, but we'll make it up into the upper 50s as we head into this afternoon. And by tonight, it's still chilly, but nowhere near as cold as we are this morning with those lows in the 30s and 40s. And we'll be in the 60s by the time we get into Friday afternoon. Our next weather makers coming in over the weekend, and that's when we introduce rain chances. Late Friday night and Saturday morning, a few showers starting to pop up on the radar. We'll see some hit or miss showers through the day Saturday, but as we head to Saturday night, that's when the heaviest rain is going to push through the state of Alabama. A cold front moving in and a line of thunderstorms out ahead of that front uh, moving through the state. This will be a late night event for most of us. This will be while we're asleep uh, Saturday night. Still some lingering showers through Sunday morning, but we dry out as we head into Sunday afternoon. Now there is some wind energy with this system as it rolls through the state of Alabama. So this is the low level jet winds about a mile above our heads and you can see that uh, some spots between 60 and 70 mile an hour winds there about a mile up in the atmosphere. So with that kind of wind energy, we could see some gustier winds through the day Saturday, even before we get storms or just showers moving around some wind gusts in the 20 to 30 mile an hour range possible. But note those wind gusts really kind of trending up as the uh, heavier storms move through. That'll help push some of that wind energy down to the surface and we'll see some wind gusts in these storms that could exceed 35, maybe even 45 miles an hour. We don't have a ton of unstable air as storms are moving through the state though. This is your instability values and again those numbers not necessarily overly impressive at this point. So with that in mind, we don't expect widespread severe weather as we head through Saturday night. All told rainfall from this generally between a third of an inch and an inch for central Alabama, closer to one to three inches in the north and northwest corner of the state. Behind all of this rain as we head into Sunday afternoon and into the start of the work week next week, cool and dry air pushing back into central Alabama. Jen. It always has to be on the weekend. All right, your time 552. We got more news ahead. The stories you need.